This is question number six from the June 2017 Algebra 2 exam. So given the parent function p of x equals cos of x, which phrase best describes the transformation used to obtain the graph of g of x being cos of x plus a minus b if a and b are both positive constants? So um, you can see on the right uh, left hand side here, I've, I've drawn the original function cos of x where it has a y-intercept at positive 1, and the x-intercepts would be pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Now, essentially, to solve this problem, we need to understand this general format of a cosine function. Now, if you're taking cos of x minus h, um, in, this, in this formula, h would represent a, transforma a translation horizontally. Uh, so if h is positive, for example, it would be x minus 2, then it would be horizontally translated to units to the right. k, on the other hand, represents um, a vertical translation, so going up or down. So for example, if k had a value of 2, it would move 2 units up. Now, in the example we're given here, um, the interesting thing to note is that it's not x minus h, it's x plus a. Nor notice that it's plus. So what that means is that it's actually going to be a translation horizontally to the left. And that's because in order for uh, this to become an addition sign, remember the general format is x minus h, in order for it to change to addition, this h value, in, or in this example a, has to be negative. Negative means it's moving to the left. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, so it is going to be moving left a number of units, so our correct answer is going to be option three or four. And then um, we also know that b is a positive constant, and it's being subtracted. So that means it's going to move b units down. And that matches uh, option number four. All right, and that's all for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.